hi guys so this 13 year old guy went to heaven he said he has been praying to god to give him an encounter and the encounter finally happened and he had a dream and like he saw the old stuff and everything please watch to the end guys please subscribe and please tell me how you feel the end is the actual thank you so uh this is uh something that happened to you yes. but um for purposes of encouraging the believers and the reason God shows things is that they may be revealed that he's our God, he's alive. I would want you to share with us the story of what happened and we bless the name of the Lord before we pray. You try to make sure the microphone is close to you so that the sound can come out very well. Thank you so you can uh, look at us and tell us. Okay, praise God, church. So, it was my experience that I got. It was some time back when we were listening to a message while going home in Deca. Then it was of a man who used to teleport in the spirit. So, he said he prayed a prayer before he used to do those things of teleporting the spirit. He prayed a prayer that he wanted to have an encounter with God. He said that if God did it for the whites, he can also do it for him because God is not a God of, of segregation. Yeah, actually, that man is from India. So uh, he saw Dr. Bruce Allen talking about that, who is a white, an American. So this Indian man also said he would do the same. That's, that's, that's what he's referring to. So... I also made the same prayer. I said, if God did it for that Indian man, he can also do it for me. So from then, I kept on purposing that, Lord, I want to have an encounter. So it was on Wednesday this week. We had an overnight here. And I said, now I've got the good chance. I'm not busy at school. So I said, this when overnight, I have to purpose to have an encounter with God. So... We started praying there was apostle grace music in the background so we prayed then like we prayed for many hours but i reached like at around 2 a.m so there i felt like the spirit had taken over me then i went in a place i asked the holy spirit which place is this in the middle because that was a worship session going on in the background you are worshiping and praying yes. you had prayed for many hours yes it had taken long when you are engaging yes then something happened like you went in the spirit yes and you are moving to a place yes okay so then you did what you asked i asked the holy spirit which place is this then he told me this is the third heavens he told you you are now in the third heavens yes so when I reached there, I saw the 24 elders like, I saw 24 people and I got a knowing, those are the 24 elders, like a football pitch, but which is little, but they were seated around, like forming a circle around. Then I saw the four beasts, one of an eagle, a lion, all those four were there. Then the 24 elders were singing, were saying, holy, holy, without stopping. Then the four beasts had bowels, like containers, having our prayer requests there, like scrolls, papers, bowing down, giving them to God. That uh, you, 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 When you were telling me you demonstrated what they were doing, why, how were they giving them over to the one who was on the throne? Like they were like this. Then I had them say like you you are you are most uh, uh, like okay let me use you are worthy to open them. Like oh, oh you are worthy to open this the, the prayer request to the yes. seal like yes. to know what is happening inside. Yes. Okay. Then from there so and uh, yes, okay, continue. Then I bowed down and said, Sing also the song where the is your name. But where are the. You, you, you don't move fast. So 
you also find yourself bowing down and yes. singing the song Worthy is your name. Yes. Okay. So you, you said for you you are singing Worthy is your name and then for them they were singing Holy. 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 Then okay. where the four beasts were giving the scrolls, I saw something very beautiful. I can't explain but it was like crystal, stones, rock, but very beautiful. I can't explain what it was. Then covered with a lot of like lightings a lot of light i couldn't see what was there so from there and that's I, why they were bowing yes even, yes from there i bowed down started singing the song and i got out no you before you got out you said uh, when they were giving over the, the bowers with the scrolls and the, the prayer request you said there was a perfume you told me uh, yeah what happened yes so the lord made me get like he wanted me to understand so here's something that i could knew i can know but it wasn't the same in heaven so you smelled what so i smelled as perfume you use the word aroma when you are telling me okay an aroma of perfume but it was very nice like calm very good okay i can't explain how it was but I saw that when the four beasts were bowing down, giving the scrolls to God. Then from there, I bowed down, started worshiping what is your name, and got out. Of and it. you got out. And so when you got out, um, there are other experiences that you told me. You, you, you will not give them in details, I'll give them for you. Uh, but let's book the book of Revelation, chapter 4. Revelation, chapter 4. Verse 2. Starting from verse 2. We shall read the rest of it. It says, And immediately I was in the spirit. Had you ever read the book of Revelations before? The only part I read was this part of the seven beasts uh, beast with seven heads getting out of the sea. Oh, getting okay. out of the sea. The ending of the world, that's the only part I know. Okay. Look at this. Now you see what you saw. And immediately I was in the spirit. And behold, a throne was set in heaven. You look at the scripture. And one sat on the throne. And he that sat was to look upon like a jasper. Those are the stones which are like crystal like kind of and the sardine stone so the one that sat looked like that those are the crystal things you saw then it says and there was a rainbow round about the throne in sight like unto an emerald and round about the throne were four and twenty seats and upon the seats I saw twenty four elders sitting those are the ones sitting round about clothed with white raiment and they had on their heads crowns of gold verse 5 and out of the throne proceeded lightings and thunderings so you saw like you said you saw light lot of lightings okay it was so bright i couldn't see there so i just bowed down it was so bright you couldn't see so you had to bow down and there were seven lamps of fire burning before the throne, which are the seven spirits of God. And before the throne there was a sea of glass, like unto crystal, and in the midst of the throne and round about the throne were four beasts full of eyes before and behind. The first beast was like a lion, the second beast like a calf, the third beast had a face as a man, and the fourth beast was like a flying eagle. And the four beasts had each of them six wings about him, and they were full of eyes within, and they rest not day and night, saying, Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, which was and is and is to come. And when the beasts give glory and honor and thanks to him that sat on the throne, who lives forever and ever, the four and twenty four elders fall down before him that sat on the throne, worship him that lives forever and ever, and cast their crowns before the throne, saying, 
you are worthy oh to receive glory and honor that's what you had them saying which you are failing to speak this is what you had them saying they said they were saying you are worthy oh lord to receive glory and honor and power yes for you have created all things and for your pleasure they are and were created now you saw them having uh, prayer requests let's look at revelation chapter 5 verse 8 and when he had taken the book the four beasts and four the four beasts and the 24 elders all of them fell down before the lamb having every one of them harps and golden bowels full of odors aroma perfume which are the prayers of the saints so for you you saw the prayer requests were like written in the form of a scroll yes. and where was the scroll in the in the, in the? bowels something like bowels yes. and then at that point you smelled an aroma yeah. a sweet smell yes but you and how did you know that these prayers were our prayers that those that were in the prayer in the scrolls like i had a knowing you had a knowing yes that what they are presenting are our prayers yes at that very moment yes and so when he got out he he was still in the same experience in the spirit he wanted to know what other people are praying about because he saw that they were being answered and then he purposed to know about some people actually he was distracted he got out but before he was distracted then he you said you wanted to know about what joshua was praying for yes so, okay all the people who are around here yes because we had first watched a message and he told us if you want to know you purpose and ask god he told us about a scenario was it apostle so like you had told him you have a prophecy for him but maybe you had mistaken him it as is not that apostle it's the other person so yes. then he came and then he said okay it's fine we can still get your prophecy so you prayed together and told god what do you have for me about apostle so then the prophecy came so i also saw when the prayer requests were being answered in the other vision kind of so i said god what do you have for me about this one every person who was here and i said oh, so you started for your, on yourself or other people from other people on other people yes, yes. i started from joshua then the lord showed me to so i will not want you to speak the details of the prayers but yes the lord showed you lord showed me like a paper then i got a knowing that those were his prayer requests i wrote them down in my book so you, you saw a paper and saw his prayer requests yes then you wrote them down in your book yes then he gave me also answers about all those prayer requests he also gave you answers about the prayer requests yes how god had answered and how yes. he had answered then so uh, I, I got an opportunity when he told me this now he had not talked to joshua this is the first time he was telling me this so i said now he wrote them down he has them in his book so he brought them now i called joshua i said joshua do you know anything about this there was a big shock there so joshua had also his book where he had written his prayer requests which he had come to pray for and in that very moment exactly what joshua had written and they are not common things i also was surprised to see what joshua had written so not something that you will guess and in their order number one this is what jesse wrote number one this is his prayer request and god was saying i've answered it number two this number three number four and you said there were many but then you summarize them you got a knowing to summarize them in four yes. points yes Ex but on his sheet there were like one point was broken down into like three on his sheet actually his every one point is broken down into three yes. but for you god will give you a summary of that one point in one line yes and you will be amazed if you can get those books and you look at what jesse wrote read so in heaven and what joshua had written exactly a hundred percent as in i mean a hundred percent that's what i'm saying a hundred percent a hundred percent and then of course you saw other people you may not have to mention their names because you went and told them so and then something happened then they called you they called you then 
That's how the destruction happened, and he did not continue. Thank you very much. All right, thank you very much.